Good morning, people. Long time no see. I have been busy trying to perfect things for videos and doing other life adulting that we all have to do. But today, hold on, let me hit this. I gotta get in the right state of mind before I start doing these videos. Boop. Anyways, I don't know if you can hear, but I'm watching Harry Potter in the background. Fucking love me some Harry Potter. It's great background noise because I know every line to every movie, so I don't actually have to watch it. Anyways, off topic, I'm going to make some hard candy today. I know I've made hard candy in the past, but I just got some new flavors from an awesome company. They're amazeballs, and I'm looking forward to trying them out. I've done a couple, but I still have about 10 flavors to go, so I figured why not bring you along for the journey since it's kind of boring doing it by yourself. So, I'll be right back as I get all the ingredients we're going to need to make this candy today. Okay, <clears throat> so I wrote down all the ingredients, and again, my stupid stoner brain forgot this phone can't flip around, because S10 plus, you're a piece of crap. So, I'm going to stop and flip around for you so you can see the actual recipe. <clears throat> Here's the official recipe for the batch that I make. It makes about 18 ounces, so 400 grams of sugar, 213 grams of corn syrup, 3 quarters cup water, one teaspoon tartan sour. Now, if you want it to be more sour and actually taste sour instead of just bringing out the awesomeness of the flavor, use a tablespoon. A um, few drops of your favorite color. You can use water-based, oil-based, whatever you want. Just make sure you stir it really well and the steam goes away before you pour it into your mold so you'll get stickiness. And then one to teaspoons of your favorite flavoring, whether it's Lorraine oils or emulsions or what have you. But here's the basic recipe to start with. I'm going to get all these ingredients ready and show you the steps once again on how to put them all together. And I will put a little how-to section at the very bottom at the end of the video for you so you have all the instructions written down. All right, be right back. Back. I never really know where to look at the camera because it's a weird angle, so I think I'm looking at the camera. Anyway, I've got my ingredients. I've got my sugar, which I just put into a cup. This is probably not exactly 400 grams, but whatever. Corn syrup and water. And the three-fourths cup of water, I prefer to make warm, so I have less work to do and less stirring to do. Shit. You also need a spatula. And <laughs> fuck, mine's dirty. It's in the sink. Damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you, spatula? Nope. Yeah, it's gross. Okay, I gotta wash it. Damn it. Make sure you have everything ready. Proper meats and plus, people. I'm like totally professional in a business and school environment, but at home, it's nice to just fuck around. But make sure you have all your stuff. I'll be back with the spatula. And while I'm doing that, you go Google spatula song by Weird Al. It's awesome. I have one. This is kind of a crappy dollar store one. I have a better one that like doesn't come apart, but this will work for the purpose. So, all right, we're going to, I like to put the sugar in first. Do, do, do. Got my scale. It's on grams. This is 333 grams. Not quite there. Let's grab a little bit more. La la la. La la la. la. 400. 402. Let's take a little bit out. There we go. My hands are clean. And again, this is all for fun, so I'm not worried about serve safe right here. Uh, next, I like to dump in the warm water because if you put the corn syrup over the sugar and then dump the water in, the corn syrup makes this crazy barrier to like, oh God, it's like really hard to stir. So I pour the water in and I pour it all the way around the pot. You can't see what I'm doing, this sucks. I swear I'll get a GoPro so I can attach it to my head one day, but right now I'm poor and trying to sell candy. And then the corn syrup, you want 213 grams. So zero out your scale and corn syrup, it's heavy. Look at these guns. You can just, whoa, whoa. yes, feel the burn, feel the burn. When you lift that corn syrup, ladies, you want to, and then you can do a little over the head action. Ah, oh yeah. To get those chicken wings you got. But corn syrup, anyways, 213 grams. So be careful when you're pouring corn syrup. It likes to pour out really fast and then you can very easily overdo it screwing yourself because it's really hard to get corn syrup out of a bowl with water and sugar. Oh, see, I already, see, exactly, talking to you, I did this. See, fuck. I don't know if you can see that, 220, it's not 213. I messed it up, fuck, I always do something. Oh well, whatever, I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. So we're gonna pause so I can flip my camera around because again, S10, you suck, and we'll be right back. Back with this crappy view because S10 won't let me look at things the right way. Anyways, okay, so turn it on the oven. Again, if you have a numbered oven, I usually go to seven. It's pretty safe. And then we are just going to stir. Oh, see, it's it's difficult. And with one hand, this pot wants to slide around. 
So you want to stir all this up. La la la, stirring, stirring, stirring. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Yeah, okay, so you get the point. Stir the frickin' mixture. Uh, keep stirring it till it starts to boil. When it starts to boil, get that spatula out of there and don't touch it. Side note too, if you're stirring too vigorously, you will get the sugar on the sides, which is bad. You don't want sugar on the sides. You want nothing on the sides. So when it starts boiling, you can go ahead and baste it with a basting brush and some water and it'll be okay. But try and stir well to where you're not all over the place like this. This is not good. This is not proper stirring. Oh my God, it's chaos. Yeah, don't do that. Just gentle, gentle stir. While we're waiting and I'm watching Harry Potter in the background, out of that cup. I'll show you my wand. So this is my wand right here. I don't know how long it is. I'm a terrible wand owner. I, I could say like nine and three quarters to be funny, but I don't know. But anyways, point being is this is my wand. It kicks ass. It's got you know knobs along it and it's colored. And unfortunately my friend's not friend, this chick I know who used to be my friend, her dog chewed on it. Cause I guess it kind of looks like a dog chew. And uh, it's splitting like the Elder Wand. So, bummer for me. But the cool thing about my wand is it's made out of weed. This is a weed stem that I freaking got from my buddy's grow. And it was just gigantic. And it works perfect because like the nodules where the branches of weed would grow are perfect for a wand. So I have a weed wand. It's amazing. You should make one. It's a really cool thing to do with uh, shit you're just going to throw away when you're growing weed weed so yeah weed wand there's no name for it I guess it would I'd have to say it's like uh like 14 inches kind of springy and uh has a marijuana core so it's pretty powerful <laughs> yeah oh my god you guys I think I just realized something I think I think I figured out how to switch the view on my phone Oh, I've been blaming S10 when it's really a user error. I know that, but I'd, I'd much prefer to blame them. So let's try this. Fuck! No, it's not working! God damn it! Ugh, I'll be right back. Okay, so when I wasn't recording and I just had it like aimed at something, I swiped up and it flipped around. And then I could swipe down and came back. But apparently, is bullshit and they just want to get my hopes up for nothing so I take back my somewhat of apology for fucking Samsung anywho it's boiling 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 steam 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 so you're probably gonna wait realistically a good 12 minutes maybe 15 don't judge it all just on time watch the steam watch the bubbles right now you see how fast they're bubbling they're like oh I'm so excited <laughs> ouch ouch this hurts whatever and then as it continues to steam off and more uh, moisture has left, it starts to get bloppy and thick and the bubbles are like <laughs> instead of all like fast and erratic. So just wait for that. Give it about 10 minutes. Check on it. Keep looking at it. Don't walk away. Don't leave your candy. A cook never leaves his food. Bakers never leave their what. You know what I mean. So just don't leave. So let it boil. Keep your thermometer ready, handy, and you better have listened and got yourself a probe tip thermometer. No more bullshit thermometers, people. This is the bomb. Big, easy read screen. Oh, yeah, get one. And when it stops steaming, stick it in. Hey, while my sugar is boiling, I have my colors. Awesome. Chef Rubber shout out. Hashtag Chef Rubber. Whatever you do. Hell yeah. Chef Rubber's the bomb. So that's my coloring. It's oil based. You can use it for chocolate, all sorts of stuff. But I mixed a little bit of red. I mean, red with yellow in there. It looks unappetizing, but it's also tart and sour and some flavors, which I will just show the counter because it's a mystery. And so I'm gonna mix those up and uh, wait for the sugar to get to 190 degrees. I wish you could smell the mango in this flavoring. It is, oh my God. Oh God, I just wanna, I just wanna like lick it, but I know it would be like, oh, cause, uh, I won't tell you the company, I'm sorry. I've worked really, really hard to find unique flavors that will make my candy stand out among the frickin' rest of the ones in the world. But, uh, they come with like, you can get a propylene glycol based one, ooh, yucky, a vegetable glycerin based one, so better, but ooh, or a super concentrate. And this is their super concentrate, and I have not, knock on wood, 
I have not found <clears throat> a flavor that hasn't been exactly on point and delicious, so I am super, super stoked. But let's go in for one more smell. <sighs> oh my God, they need to invent smell -o vision Okay, be right back. Okay. This is where it starts getting a little more gloopy gloppy. You can see the bubbles have slowed down and I'll back up. There's very little steam coming from it. You can hear my chicken in the background, I'm sure. Yeah, so uh, back to candy. Um, this is where you wanna kinda start putting your thermometer in and checking. It will not be ready at this point and it'll kind of stay at this point for a little while. So just be diligent around this time. Don't leave stick close to your candy pot, which you should do all the time anyways, but if you had to pee or whatever, now is not the time. So we'll be back when the temperature is perfect. I apologize, I'm not gonna let be able to let you see the temperature reaching the temperature. I don't think it's that important anyway. It's a 277, but the thermometer is touching the bottom of the pan. And I know that if it goes to 290 and it's at the bottom of the pan, it's not really 290. So I have some time, but I'm not going to be able to maneuver all that and hold the phone with like scalding hot candy. So the next video you're going to see is me pouring it. Or I'll try and add the flavor and color to show you that too. So I'll be back. Okay, sorry, I couldn't include any of that. I actually got a phone call right in the middle of me trying to mix in the flavoring and call, and it was extremely important for him. Phone call. So, uh, my bad. I'm sorry you got to miss that. I think you saw it on other uh, videos, though. So, basically, when you stir in the flavor in the color in the pot, because most of the time when you're doing it professionally, you stir it in on the table, um, you want to keep stirring until the steam goes away. So you don't want to add any of that moisture into the candy and the moisture, uh, the steam is the moisture leaving the candy. So I have to grab, shit, I need gloves is what I need because this is going to hurt if I, if I accidentally touch my, yep, like I just did, gosh darn it, touch my finger to it. I think my hands are getting a little more used to it. Let me get gloves. That phone call really screwed up my, my mojo and my, my flow. And she's going to call me back in five minutes, so I need to, ah, no, stop. I need to, uh, shit, be ready, candy-wise and for the phone call. Damn it, get on my fingers. Oh, I hate gloves. Okay, okay, gloves are on. Moving, moving the candy. And I can just set it on my warmer. I think that'll be okay. Um... Let me turn it up a little bit. Oh God, that peach. Oh, peach. I could eat a peach for hours. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I think of when I hear peach. And that's one of the best movies ever. If you don't know the reference, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna share it with you. You're not cool enough. So yeah, this is just gonna sit here for a minute and blub, 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 blub away. And I think I'm just gonna transfer it. I was trying to that's hot. Transfer it to uh, the warming table thing. And just a side note, I bought these at Shamrock Foods. They're stainless steel, super, super heavy duty. They don't bend at all. And I think the fact that they're stainless steel, I think the other ones that might've been like aluminum that I had, everything was sticking. These don't stick at all. So it is amazing. But we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, look at it. I'm not gonna burn myself, hold on, hold on, Okay, okay, I'll be back. I swear I have to take this phone call though. Okay, bye. I just realized something. I'm such a stoner. I think I just wanted to say the Nicolas Cage line because this isn't peach, this is mango. It's really, yeah, it's mango, not peach. I already made peach, duh. Okay, while I'm waiting for my phone call, I'm just gonna run some through the machine. I can handle it. I think it'll be okay. If the phone call comes in, I apologize. Oh, need to cut another piece. But it's really hard because this is super friggin' hot. Super friggin' hot. Oh, the monkey. Boop. Okay. Maybe we can get all this done before she calls back. So this has to sit here and cool off because it's still... And not holding its shape at all. It's way too hot. You see that? It's like an oddly satisfying video. Wait, that's not... You can't see that. I'm trying to make it more close up. But no, I want to try one of these days, like pulling the candy. Oh God, oh, shit, fuck. No, no, I don't want to try pulling the candy. Ow, oh my God, crikey.
Yeah, we're just gonna let that cool down, I guess. Cool down. Cool down. How? Okay. Ooh. Ow. Okay, let's move it around. Move it around on the pastry board and get some heat out of it. I just don't like doing this because if you heat up the surface you're leaving the candy on too much, the candy will stick to it. And I need a larger surface. I need a, a piece of marble, a granite that's way larger than this so that my heat sink area is larger. All right, we're getting there. It's almost, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's still globby. Globby. That just makes me want to play Candyland. I had the original Candyland. I love it. It's funny because it's totally racist. It's just like two white kids. And then later on they were like, oh, we better make this more ethnically uh, appropriate. And then they added like a black kid and I think an Indian kid and blah, blah, blah. It's so funny how people are so upset about everything nowadays. People are people and we're all loved and all equal and, you know, just, my God. Anyways, we're getting off topic. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about candy. This is now... Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay, um, it's telling me it's almost, almost ready. Ow! I'm trying to pull the heat from you. Pull the heat from you. No. Maybe. Get it! Not ready. Because I can still, like, oh. And the brass rollers are supposed to cool it to an extent. So, I think if I just, like... Yeah, okay, we're just going to run it through because I know this phone call is going to come in any second now. So I want to make sure you get to see the awesomeness of candy going through. Now we only have one more piece. And I don't need to cut it. I can just take it right off the warmer. Turn the warmer off. Plug the warmer. Don't burn the house down. Last little log of candy going through. That was a long one. Okay. Here is the candy. Mango, 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 mango. That one got a little weird at the end, but I don't care. They're all delicious. They don't have to be perfect. So I'm going to let these cool for a little while, and then I'll use my scraper to kind of like lift the edge up as so to make sure it's not oh fuck me oh make sure it's not sticking if you're careful you can sorry bad view you can move it around a little bit in the beginning to get it to cooler places so it won't won't stick anyway all right that looks like a face eyeball eyeball mouth i'll get back to you when it's time to break them got it Okay, so candy is hard enough. We're gonna take our spatula, sometimes just moving it with the spatula or spatula scraper breaks it. But it's so much fun. You don't even need to pick it up from that high when it's dry. High, dry, hot, right. All right. And now we're gonna do another one. Yeah, yeah. I love it when things just work, you know. Sometimes things don't work and you're frustrated, but it's also a motivator to keep trying and do more. But when things work, <clears throat> when things work, and I'm like, stop disturbing my point, piece of candy. Um, it's just great. It feels so good. So, yes, gratification. Can move these down the line. And then we got the last one here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful candy. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it like that though. Break them badly. What I really need to get is a uh, fry basket, like they use on Lofty Pursuits, to like shake up the candy and get all those hard, evil edges off of them. Because no joke, man, candy is sharp AF as fuck. Because it's you know like glass basically. I have uh, cut the inside of my mouth so bad that I'm bleeding, like spitting out blood from sharp edges of candy. And the one time in culinary school when I was uh, being badass, someone had like a sheet of candy. And I was like, oh, they use sugar glass in movies. This will be a breeze. Cut the fuck out of my hand. Don't punch sugar. It's not smart. So we have all of this. Focus. Focus. All this lovely candy. And it's still warm, but it's awesome. 
And honestly, I need to get it into a bag really quickly because it's humid as hell today. It's like 65% humidity. It's just evil and horrible. So I'm going to package up the candy in these cute little bags. Like I've got, okay, so that was apple. I have blue raspberry and lime. And then I've got peach. Looks like a little bit peach. And my favorite, and almost everybody else's favorite, this one, I don't know if I can technically say, no, I can't. Let's not use that word. I don't need a lawsuit. So um, it's something where you are uh, palating the multicolored streak in the sky. Taste the rainbow. Um, yeah, so this is fruit fruit candy. That's what they call the flavor, but it tastes exactly like taste the rainbow um, in your mouth as soon as you eat it. It's like a mouthful of taste the rainbow. Um, yeah, so they're really good. So I'm going to get those packaged up and yeah, I think that might be the end of the video. You know, I was considering getting a whole new apron, but I'm kind of like, I feel like this is becoming iconic, you know, the mm, fuck Starbucks and shake your boobs apparently. So yeah, Willow, Ghostbusters and fuck Starbucks. I think that's the way it should end. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this candy making video. Oh crap. I did tell you I was going to give you a written, damn it written set of instructions <sighs> hold on okay i have two options i can either just tell you how it's done like i've done before and earlier in the video or i can write it down i'm not writing it down i'd rather use my time to make another batch of candy i'm a horrible bastard i'm sorry this is all about the people and i'm like i don't care i just want to make more candy so yes take the first three ingredients your sugar your corn syrup and water put them in the pan mix them stir until boiling once boiling Stop touching it. Base the sides. If it starts to get all foamy and weird, let it sit there. Get gloppy. It will cook. In my region of the world, in the mountains, I need 290. Most people need 300 for hard crack. So find out where you are and what that means. So, um, sorry, I heard something and it distracted me. But anyways, uh, after that 300 degrees, take your color and uh, 290 for me. At that 290, take your color and your sour stuff and your... Uh, Flavor. Mix it all in. The important part about mixing it then is mix it till there's no more steam. If there's steam, then it's going to be sticky. Pour it out on whatever surface, or if you're doing molds, pour it into your molds. Sit, wait, and uh, then it's done. I don't really know what else to say. It seems all pretty easy to me. If you have any questions, how about that? If you have any questions, comment. I don't have a. I don't think I have a button. I don't know. Subscribe. Ask questions. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I don't know how all the crap works. I just want to make candy. So. Yeah, ask questions, and if there's anything like you'd like to see, any type of candy, any type of uh, instructional videos, just let me know. Or I'm just going to keep making the same old boring hard candy videos. And if you watch them, that's your fault. So, all right, over and out. Have a lovely, lovely day. God damn it!